guys and welcome back. I hope you're all doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be going through all of the newest new in beauty ranges and launches, especially in the more high-end categories. I think I might have one drugstore brand mixed in here as well, but mainly from high-end, especially as a lot of them are launching their fall collections, runway collections, and Christmas collections coming up soon. I'm gonna kick this off with Christmas perfume launches. First up is, I'm not even taking this out of the packaging yet, it's the Victor & Rolf Flower Bomb for Christmas, and it's got this really cool, um, almost looks like an explosion, like a firework explosion in silver, crystals coming off. So if you're a Flower Bomb fan, that's for you. Another one from Victor Rolf is the Bon Bon. This is a 50ml limited edition version of Bon Bon with a pink diamante bow around the bottle as well. So they are beautiful. We've also got the Giorgio Armani C perfume in limited edition. It's got the cool little gold, like a gold bow embellished around the edge of the box. And then you take it out it has the same gold running right the way around the bottle. So for anyone who absolutely loves this, whether it's for your mum, your daughter, your sister, then a, this limited edition bottle is really, really beautiful. Exactly the same fragrance, just, just in a really beautiful and special bottle. And the last perfume I have to show you is from Dior, and it's the J'adore Touche de Parfum. And the idea with this is, this is just the most incredible thing, it's an oil. So this is an oil-based perfume. When you put this onto your wrists, it's so much stronger and more concentrated than the regular perfume. So for me, I mean, my skin just seems to seep up perfume and doesn't really exude the fragrance the way I want it to. But the good thing about this being oil is that it really, really helps to intensify that fragrance. This smell totally reminds me of my mum. Like, she loves J'adore. It's just such a classic, classic fragrance. And it has base notes and it has the middle note, but it doesn't have any of the top notes of the fragrance, which means that if you put this on, you can then layer it with your ordinary Shador perfume and it'll be even brighter and even stronger. The new NARS and Stephen Klein colour collection. I recently did a blog post all about these products, so I'll leave that link down below so you can go and have a look at loads of swatches and me wearing them as well. Three glasses a kind of rusted red, a deep blush pink, and a plummy, more gothic plummy lip gloss. I've got three lipsticks, two of which are nude, one of which is a raspberry. One of them is more of a opaque nude, the other one is a more reflective and shimmery nude. That one's called Redemption. So Redemption is a shimmery nude, you've got Besame Musho, which is the nude without shimmer. And you've also got No Shame, which is this lovely raspberry plummy shade. And it's like I said, all swatches of these can be found on the blog. They also have three nail polishes in shimmery and almost duochrome styles. So purple, which is Night Creature, which is probably my favourite here. This one is hard to get, which is a metallic-y, pewter, greeny gold, almost. And then here we have Black Fire, which is a slate grey blue. But my favourite things in this collection have to be the little individual eyeshadows. This one especially be my favourite. This one's called Stud. I think this is going to sell out so quickly. It's a very iridescent silver pewter um, with so much pigmentation, it is almost crazy. It's almost got an olive toned, silver, metallic, pewter. Can you use? I don't know, you probably can't even see that, but that is incredible. I absolutely adore that. And they've also got Mortal, which is a very bright, white, shimmery snow shade. And also, this one is Never Too Late, which is an olive green khaki. So those three together make such a beautiful eye look. They are beautiful, especially for autumn um, into winter with those kind of khaki olives. This next product, I wanted to mention it because I don't think it's necessarily new, but it's new to me. Um, and I am totally smitten with it. It's the Temple Spa Glint Shadow Concealer. So it's a concealer that has this really cool brush. In fact, I've got one here that I'm already using. I've got that one ready for to go next time but you sort of pump up product into the brush 
and it's got quite a thick, lovely thick consistency to it, but it's really great for coverage and just blending into the skin and it's quite high coverage. I found this is a really great shade for me. This is in light. I'll try and find somewhere that they sell it. I'm not even sure where Temple Spa is sold. So I'll find out. Two products you've probably seen so much of, but I've just got them into my collection. Brand new from Charlotte Tilbury, the Magic Foundation. I have heard so much about this. And also the Mini Miracle Eye Wand, which Susie from Hello October absolutely adores. So I've been like, I need to, I need to use this. It's got an under eye cream that kind of really lifts the under eyes and it's quite tightening I've heard and then this is the illuminating soft focus eye brightener so then you use the other side but then used with the magic foundation this is meant to be so sort of medium to high coverage and buildable but you can do wonders for the skin I've seen Charlotte putting this on people that have acne or scarring or dark pigmentation and literally it just blurs everything out so i'm very excited to use this this is in shade three which i think is going to be too dark for me in honesty um i might go down to shade two but very excited about those and i've heard so much so if you're nearer charlotte tilbury counter maybe go have a little peek an exciting product from anastasia beverly hills again you've probably seen this everywhere i have the shade starlight and it's their new illuminators very silvery gold shade but it just, it's so brightening on the top of the cheek. I'm gonna try and put some on. Put a bit of that everywhere. <laughs> like my skin just looks radiant now. It's really gorgeous. And Starlight, I've seen a lot of people speaking about this. I think this might be one of the faves from the collection. There's a few different colors. Um, but this one especially is just more, the lightest one, it's more silvery, light gold. Next are two new nail shades from Chanel that I'm just, in love with in fact i've got them on now although i need to reapply because i've had a bit of a busy weekend and they're all sort of coming off now uh, this one is in shade 673 singulier it's a very kind of bright raspberry plum it's not got that oh another dropped it it's not got that very autumnal plummy shade that we all seem to wear all the time this is a bit more bright it's a bit more girly and a bit more feminine than that style which is why i think i really love it and then this one is 675 true blanche at the moment i have it on this nail here and everything else is the, is the more raspberry shade um, but i think they go really beautifully together because it almost looks as though this shade is kind of similar to what this looks like in the light I don't even know if you're going to see that, but beautiful. So those I love. Got some new bits from Maybelline, the Colossal Go Chaotic Volume Mascara. This is perfect for people who really prefer their mascara to be more spidery, larger, more volumized, and just very chaotic and all over the place. If you like your eyelashes really straight and perfect, then this isn't for you. So you sort of put on your mascara as normal, and then you use this section at the top that's all very ununiform and you use that to brush through your lashes and it will help to really kind of mess them it just messes up your lashes completely so you get that very spidery the best word for it is chaotic does chaotic lash so if you like that idea then Maybelline have you covered they've also just brought out a brand new color tattoo this one is in shade creme de nude 93 and this reminds me of a mixture between like a banana powder and a kind of MAC paint pot in ochre is it or something similar but I really like the look of this and I think this will be a big hit with those that just want to use very little eyeshadow and can just sort of dip their hand in put it over the top of their eyelid and it'll just create that kind of flawless eyelid base and then the last thing is the Master Brow Pro Palette from Maybelline. The idea with this is that instead of it being three different shades, what I really like about it is that it's a highlight, a brow shade and a wax. So the amount of times I've bought these sorts of palettes and I've used one shade out of it and then every other shade goes to waste and I'm like, well, could have had a highlight or it could have had something else. And it's almost like Maybelline have come to my rescue and done that. So with this one product, you can put the wax through your brows, then you can use the powder and put that through as well, so you get the perfect shade. And then you can use the highlight underneath or above or however you like to use your highlight. So I thought it was a really cool little product and of course it comes with a brush. Not that I ever recommend using these, but it's good for the girl on the go. Next up we've got Givenchy. This could be their autumn winter collection, I think. Look at this. 
white snowy glittery case. There are six shades which are completely spot on for this autumn and so for me this ticks all of my boxes. This one I've been using as a crease, this sort of peachy beige. Use that on the crease, use the white and the inner corners um, and then I've been using the olive all over the lid and then using the different types of brown to really darken up the crease and also underneath and it's so stunning. The packaging, the product, blendability, the pigmentation, it's absolutely gorgeous, like so beautiful. And I've also brought out a matching lipstick, this gorgeous case. I've got some red on mine now which I'm really gutted about um, but it just comes out like this and this is the shade that they've gone for, it's a light cherry red. Next up we have Illamasqua and these are my two faves from their new Christmas collection. This one being a multi-use product, it's a stunning gold glitter. And the idea is that you can build it up on your eyelids, on your cheeks or on your lips and it will give the effect of gold leaf. So I think I'll be using that so much over Christmas, I think that's going to be a bestseller. And also these false lashes, Illamasqua makes some gorgeous false lashes and these are so wispy and so feathery and fluttery. I will try and find out what exactly they are, all it says on here is 5D07 but I don't think that'll be it, it'll just be in the holiday Christmas collection so I'll link those if I can. Two new lipsticks from the Burberry Kisses range, the first being 297 Midnight Plum which kind of says it all really, a very grungy, dark, mysterious plummy shade that I think is going to sell out so well, it's almost a reddy brown feel to that. And then Hydrangea which is more of a deep, dusky, mature pink shade. So those are new from Burberry. A few more things to show you, first of all from Giorgio Armani, their new runway collection is so beautiful. Each product comes in these little bags and when you open it inside, this is my kind of blush, it's a peachy, peachy light pink. And then up inside there are three eyeshadows, black, a more peachy red and a white. This is kind of more of a limited edition collector's item type piece, I feel it's very special. The piece I really love about this collection is this, you'll have seen me using these before but this is a new shade. It doesn't actually say in here what it is because I think it's just because it's part of the runway collection. But this I adore, I've got a blog post coming up or have been already posted, I'll leave the link down below if so. It's just a very metallic bronze, I mean, look at that shimmering, metallic bronze, stunning, so beautiful, it blends gorgeous as well on the, on the lids. I had this on the other day in a full makeup look and just blew me away. Another piece in that collection as well that I really love and I like the fact that the brand have gone for a more coral tone lipstick rather than sticking to the plums and the reds that we just are seeing so much of. Light peach coral but quite also quite bright, it's just very different for this time of year and I love that fact, it's just kind of the first sign of autumn leaves type orangey peach, I love it. Love it, so that's a beautiful collection. Um, very, very last thing to show you are from Chanel. This is a raspberry, strawberry red, I'd say. This is shade 164, Inspiree. This is a very autumnal brown um, with a hint of the kind of pinks through it. I just think that'll be incredible for the autumn months. I'll be wearing that a lot, I know that now. And also shade 53 in the Rouge Allure Velvet La Mysterieuse. Um, this looks incredible, it's like a matte, it's meant to be a sort of velvet finish on the lips. It's, it just looks incredible. I mean, the lipstick, though, the fact it says Chanel over the lipstick bullet, it's so pretty. There's a lot of information there. I really, really hope you enjoyed that and you've at least sort of come away loving at least one product that you think you might have to have a look at or look for. I'm really excited about a lot of these products or else I wouldn't have put them in this video. So there's no point me saying I like this one the most or this one the most because I'm pretty excited about all of them actually. As always I will leave links down below to where you can go and buy these new products from. If you like the video make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you are new and I will see you again soon. Bye! Mwah.